because this hair is given. Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how I achieved the look of tapins, but instead I use clip-ins, okay? It is a whole process, but it's actually a lot easier than you think, and I feel like there's pros and cons when it comes to tapins and clip-ins and all of that, but I will get into that a little bit. But yes, today I went ahead and used clip-ins with my real hair, of course, and I achieved this look, and I love the way it turned out, all right? So you guys will see that a little bit later on, but if you guys are interested, of course, you guys already know what to do, all right? Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and let's jump right into the video. So before we go ahead and jump into the install process, I do want to give you guys a little bit of background when it comes to clip-ins, okay? When I used to hear the word clip-ins, I used to think Barbie doll hair, plastic, um not durable it won't match my texture and it's so different because i used to think that even till this year um till about three months ago when i went to the store because i'm trying to grow my hair out you guys i had red hair before and it was so damaged into my hair so now i'm trying to grow it out okay so i did a chop um about a couple months ago and i went to the store and i was so surprised because there's so many different textures now when it comes to clip-ins okay they don't have like just that silky hair if you know what i'm talking about they have our type of hair they have whatever you need whatever color they have it out there which i really do appreciate it just made it a lot easier when i wanted to find you know the right texture and things like that for my hair and then also one thing i noticed is now the actual clip-in portion the metal part isn't as damaged into your hair okay back in the day right if you go ahead and get a clip-in and it kind of depends on um the price point so i'll tell you guys when it comes to clip-ins i prefer and recommend clip-ins they're about 50 dollars each set now i know it sounds a little bit expensive if you do add it up but the reason why i say that is because the actual clipping part is safety proof so if you are brushing your hair and your clipping comes out it is not pulling your hair out okay the cheaper ones honey they may pull your whole your whole hair out so just be careful so i do recommend getting clippings um they're about 50 dollars each set minimum okay the higher you go up the better quality of hair things like that but yes like i mentioned the quality of this is a lot better because even when i do brush my hair out it's not pulling my hair out it is so safety proof um so i do appreciate that and i will put on um, the brand that i'm using today on the screen for you guys for my hair um now mind you depending on the texture of your hair when you do strain it make sure you go ahead and get the right texture for your hair i feel like that's so important when it comes to blending your clip into your actual hair people can tell okay if it's two different textures going on all right if you get a silky hair but your hair is a little bit more coarse it's not gonna blend baby so make sure you find the one that matches for your hair type all right think about that and then also the reason why i prefer clip-ins is because in the long run it's a little bit more affordable i feel like tapings y'all the money just adds up from buying the hair having the install and then for them to redo it over and over with clip-ins you put it on after two weeks take it out wash your hair wash the clip-ins and then redo it again it is so simple saves you so much money and i know the initial cost of buying the clip-ins may be expensive but in the long run, y'all, it is so, so worth it. So those were all the tips I wanted to mention to you guys. And I hope those were helpful. If you have any other questions, let me know down below. But with that being said, I'm sure you guys are ready for the install process. So let's jump right into that part. Okay, so I do have my hair laid out in front of me. I also do have my hair blow dry, straightened, all of that. Like I told you guys, it is so short because my hair was so damaged from dyeing it red so i just chopped it off so that was about a month ago but it's totally fine we'll grow our hair out but what we're gonna do first is section out our hair because you want to know exactly where you're placing the track how it looks on your face how it frames your face there's so much that goes into it okay but i'll make it super simple for you guys so what i'm gonna do is kind of pull it up i just do the feel method you can go ahead and look in the mirror to make sure it looks perfect um but i don't really pull my hair up like that so it doesn't really matter for me so i'm just gonna pull a little bit of it up and just kind of feel and i know my hair at this point so i know exactly yep it just sections perfectly at this point so um go ahead and section off the bottom part and then we'll get into the install so when it starts with the bottom part of your hair you typically either need the four 
um, piece or the three piece. My hair, I do the three piece and the one piece and you'll see what I mean because the bottom part of my hair is not as big, but when you get to the middle portion of your head, it gets a little bit wider, okay? So just depending on your head, how big it is, all of that, pick up which one works best for you, okay? So I'm actually gonna start off with two, two pieces. It's just based on your bundles and how they come. So we're gonna take this and just place it in the back, okay? Really simple. And I make sure I pull it tight. That way there's no like gaps or anything, you know, in your hair as you put it in. Super easy. Now we're gonna take another two, like so. And I know you guys are probably thinking, why didn't I pick the four one? The four one will work, but there's always a little bit left over because the spacing in between, you know, that one is a little bit too big for me. So the two and two just works perfectly for my head, okay? Like it stops right here. So I'm gonna put that in. And yeah, we have the first section in. So now we're gonna move on to the next portion. And I kind of just, I don't know, I just space it out. You guys, I told you guys, I know how it works for my head at this point. So I just pull it down. But if you want it to be perfect, especially if you are putting your hair up, make sure you look in a mirror. <laughs> that way it looks even, okay? But I just feel around and that kind of gives me a good idea of if I did it right. So super easy. I'm gonna clip this part up. And I always make sure to brush my hair within each section because you don't wanna like clip, especially with the metal part of the clippings, you don't wanna clip in any like straggly hairs or things like that because it may pull at it. You wanna make sure that your clippings are directly at the root of your head, okay? I hope that makes sense. So now I'm gonna take the four piece because I am working with the wider portion of my head. And I first start off with the middle, okay? You wanna take the middle portion and directly clip that in the middle of where you wanna place it, okay? Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing because I wanna make sure that it's even around. So then you have this extra piece right here. This one we're gonna place right here. And make sure you're pulling it tight because you don't want your clipping to feel like um, like they're sagging or they're baggy in between. I want it to be pulled tight to my hair, okay? So I'm gonna take this portion now and then just place it right here. And then of course, we're just gonna brush this out. And I really need to get my hair dyed like one more good time because it's kind of turning green, okay? Because turning from red to black, y'all, it is not easy at all, okay? So now we are working with the side pieces. Now I do like to do like the half up, half down situation. So I really don't mess with the side pieces too much. Like I don't really add a clip in in there, but I could if I want. So what I'm gonna do is just grab one of the singles and see what I wanna do with it, okay? So I may place this one actually right here because it's still far back enough that even if I put my hair up, you don't see the clippings, okay? It just depends on how you wanna part your hair. And then we brush it off. It's so simple, you guys, I swear. But you just see how I'm working with my hair, seeing how it frames my face and just kind of going off of that. So let's do the next section together. Now, one tip I do wanna mention is as you get higher to the top of your head, I really don't like to place any um, metal pieces in the back just because I noticed it was hard to cover up, especially if it's windy or if you're trying to do a half up, half down, just having like any clippings in the back doesn't work for me. So what you'll start to notice is I kind of keep it right here, okay? And we'll see how I blend the back. So I may do one more back piece. Let's do one more four piece, okay? And like I told you guys, grab the two middle ones and place it in the middle of that section, okay? 
And then you're gonna take um, the one that's left over, pull it tight, and then clip this one in. And then on the other side, we're gonna do this as well, pull it tight and clip it in. You guys see how my hair looks like my hair? Just a little bit fuller, honey, till we grow this hair out. So super, super easy to work with, okay? Look at that. Literally looks like the texture of my hair. So I'm telling you guys, once you find the perfect texture, it is so easy to blend everything together. So I think that's it for the middle section. So I'm just gonna brush everything out right now. And we're gonna add more pieces to the side of my hair. I'm doing a middle part. You can do a, um, what do you call it? A flip over part, a middle part, whatever you prefer. But that will determine how you place your clip-ins. So let's start off here, okay? We're gonna probably add, probably add a two piece to the section, okay? Let's see, yeah, let's add a two piece to the section. So we're gonna grab this right here. And I always get confused in the mirror <laughs> when I play something, I'm like, wait, hold up. So yeah, this is correct. So you're gonna place it right about here, okay? And now you see how it's too close to the front of my hair? I don't like that, okay? So I'm gonna actually move this a little bit further back because sometimes I told you guys, I do half ups, half down. So I don't want it that close to the front of my head. So now for this, you may go ahead and add a two piece to that section, but I only have two left. And I wanna save one for the other side. So let's just use the single pieces for this. So I'm gonna grab a single piece instead and place this right here by the scalp, okay? And like I told you guys, I really need to get my hair dyed. <laughs> I feel like it will match so much better, but it's totally fine when we go ahead and curl everything together. So that's that one in there. Same thing again, we're gonna grab another single piece, place that by the scalp. We just wanna keep adding a lot of you know, um, density to the hair. I love my hair thick, y'all. So the more you add, the better because it will give it that look. Okay, perfect. So now let's see if I wanna add any more. I think we've done enough. I just wanna make sure everything blends really nicely. So, yeah. Part of me wants to add one more, just one more to the section, okay? So let's do that. So you guys can see what everything looks like so far. We are done with this section. I'm gonna do this side off camera, um, but I will show you guys at the end how to curl everything together to give it a more sleek look. But you can see how much this blends. It looks like my hair. You can't even tell besides like the color. Okay, I need to dye my hair, but it is totally fine. But y'all can see this side looks so thick and you know has a lot of volume to it. And this side looks a little bit flat. All right, but I'll be right back and I'll show you guys the next step that I do. Okay, so this is what it looks like with both sides installed. The volume, the way it blends, everything just looks so good. And for me not to use a mirror, okay, to see the back of my head, that is crazy, but it came out so good. So what we're gonna do now is curl the hair. I'm sure you guys know how to curl your hair, but <laughs> in case you don't, I will show you guys what that looks like. And my plug is kind of far away, so I can't really stretch it out as I need to. But y'all can just see what I do to blend everything together, okay? So, I'm just gonna grab the bottom piece of the hair. I kind of clip everything just so that, you know, we don't mess with that section, but it's so simple. You just take your straightener, or you can use a curling iron, whichever one you prefer, and just loosely curl it, okay? Just really loose. Okay.
Now, before I do my bangs, I'm gonna brush this out first, just so that everything can lay. I can see everything a little bit better. So we're just gonna brush this out like so. Okay. I just love the way it looks. Like I just think it's so classy and it's so easy to wrap at night um, and just wake up the next day with some curls. So for the front, I don't really curl it all the way in. I'll show you guys what I kind of do. So I just take this piece. Let's see if I can do it. It's gonna slowly. Cause I kind of like it like just to flop over a little bit. Just gonna let it sit like that. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we did that. Okay. I just like it to swoop a little bit when it comes to the front. Okay. And then let's do the last part for this side. So I'm back you guys and this is what the hair looks like okay typically I do love second day hair because the curls kind of fall a little bit more but y'all get the gist of it you guys can see how natural it looks from the side all around even the back if I can show y'all but everything just looks so natural it looks like my hair and it's clippings which is so crazy so i hope this video helped you guys i'm not really good or the best <laughs> at doing hair tutorials so hopefully it was helpful um each step of the way if you have any questions of course let me know down below but yes i gotta go out tonight okay because this hair is given so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one